Hi, Hi fellow, fellow birdies. birdies. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Taco Bell's brand new items. Now, they recently just came out with these brand new burritos and the Cheddar Chalupa too. So mm -hmm. that's also brand new. And we also have the Island Blue Raspberry Freeze. I'm so forward to that. <laughs> we can't wait to try these items out and give you our honest opinions about them. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is this Island Blue Raspberry Freeze. Now it's a tart blue raspberry flavored freeze blended with a sweet tropical creamer. Oh, I know you like freezes, so I'll let you do it first. I definitely like it. All right. That reminds me of one of those ices I used to get back in the day. It was not the Coke flavored icy, of course, but just the texture of it is like an icy. But the flavor is definitely very, very sweet, very much like raspberry. I like it. It's a really refreshing drink. Why would they come out with this during the summertime, you know? Yeah, they probably make a fortune. Maybe they're testing it now. Uh -huh. uh, one thing I noticed is that it's less ice and more like smooth you know, drink than, you know, a lot of, like smoothies, you know? Mm hmm. It doesn't feel like, you're right, it doesn't feel like there's quite as much ice in this one. Mm hmm. But still, I like it. Mm -hmm. I would give it a four out of four. Mm hmm. Come here just to get it. What about you? Like, you know me and my ices. He always or loves freezes. freezes. <laughs> now, the next item is one that's most been talked about the Chipotle Cheddar Chalupas, a chewy, flaky chalupa shell. Filled with seasoned beef, cream and chipotle sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, and real shredded cheddar cheese. So here it is. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. It's delighting. Mm. Hmm. Let's see. Once you start chewing it more, that chipotle sauce definitely starts to kick in. Definitely taste the chipotle sauce. I do taste taste the beef. I don't really taste the cheddar that much, though. Mm -mm. Yeah, you mainly just taste the, the chipotle sauce. And of course with the beef. But I'm not tasting much of the, the other stuff. But overall, it's not bad. I'd probably give it like a two. Like, if someone gave it to me, I would probably eat it. It's just not really that exciting compared to, you know, the regular chalupas that they also have here. But you know, I will agree that the chipotle sauce does add a nice mixture to it. I'll give it a three out of four. Simply put, the thing that sauce me a four is the chipotle sauce kind of overpowers the rest. But I could still see myself adding it to my plate if I was at a buffet. So it's a definite three. It's not bad. It's good. Yeah. Just not quite the amazingness that I was the freeze. So, all right, this next one is the Chipotle Ranch Grilled Chicken Burrito. So, grilled chicken, fiesta strips, avocado ranch sauce, creamy chipotle sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, real shredded cheddar cheese wrapped inside a tortilla. Part of the new cravings menus, like you got these three new burritos that are like $2 each. All right, so here we go. Hmm. I'm going all the way. Mmm. Well, that mild sauce makes it taste a lot better. Chicken is not dry. The chicken is very, very moist, but it definitely tastes better with this sauce. Hmm. I do taste a little bit of the chipotle sauce. Fiesta strips, I'll tell you, these last two items we've tried have a spicy kick to them. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. I noticed that the chipotle isn't nearly as overpowering for this one. Not like the main, you know, thing that outshines everything else. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now you can taste the other ingredients. Mm hmm. The chicken goes well, like you said. It's, you know, very juicy. I'd still give it a three out of four myself. Probably me too, because I do admit that compared to the chalupa we just had, the ingredients kind of go together a bit better. Mm -hmm. It's Falchino, the chipotle sauce, and it goes really good with those 
Fiesta Red Strips. So that was definitely a nice treat. And I liked how moist that chicken was. It wasn't like dry. Because I've heard some people say that in this burrito, the chicken was kind of a bit dry. But overall, this was a pretty good one. Yeah, I could see myself, you know, coming to the restaurant and ordering it. But I wouldn't necessarily come to the restaurant for it. This is the Beefy Melt Burrito. This is seasoned rice, seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, Fiesta strips, three cheese blend, sour cream, and a tortilla. So this is also how you got red strips. So and no chipotle sauce, I'm guessing? It's got, uh, no, you know, no chipotle sauce in this one. That's the only thing. This nacho cheese sauce. Mmm. This sort of reminds me of um, beefy burritos that you like to get here, except um, this has red strips in it. Oh, wow. Yep, I think I know I'm rating this one. <laughs> like, you gotta give, you're going to give that a four, probably, right? Maybe. <laughs> me too, honestly, actually. Like, I, I like this just as much as the uh, four, um, or the... You know, the beefy layer burrito that you can get here, that, that's really popular. Beefy five layer burrito. Beefy five layer, okay. Let's see what it tastes like with the sauce. Even better. If it's perfectly good with or without the sauce. Mm -hmm. I like it more with the sauce. <laughs> I'm just savoring the flavor. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely give this one a four and four. Myself coming here, just have this item. I think what really helped this burrito outshine the other um, one we tried so far was that besides the red strips, it didn't have that chipotle sauce, but it goes better with the nacho cheese sauce. It kind of helps bring out more of the flavor of the mm -hmm. beef. And along with those Fiesta red strips, it's a really good combination. The you know beef was flavored well and cooked well. Um, that say I'd give this a four too. This was an awesome burrito. Indeed, very cheesy. I'd say the meat was good. The cheese is good. Everything was good. I have no complaints at all. Nope. All right. This last one we have is the Fiesta Veggie Burrito. Mm -hmm. Now this comes with seasoned rice, black beans, red strips. Everything's got red strips. Creamy chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. Red sour cream and three cheese blend tomatoes and guacamole. Guacamole? Yeah, well, supposedly it's got guacamole. I'm not really seeing <laughs> any guacamole inside. I see the beans. Let's go. Hmm. Let me try it with some sauce. There's something kind of a bit off about that. It's going to taste of that sauce. I'm not really seeing any guacamole in this. Like, where's the guacamole? Nor me. I neither see nor taste it. Oh, it's a very mild part where they simply forgot it for ours. Like, we do have the rice. You have black beans and you had the red strips. I definitely tasted the chipotle sauce mm -hmm. and the sour cream, and I think I saw teas and tomatoes, but this thing didn't have any guacamole in it. Oh, well. I mean, that, that kind of happens sometimes. I think compared to all the three burritos that we tried, this is probably my least favorite because it was missing a keystone ingredient. And honestly, I just felt like the combination didn't really work well together. I felt like the chipotle sauce and the black beans just didn't really go together too well. I mean, I'm not a big fan of black beans. For me, I rate a little bit higher. I'd still rate the bottom of the three burritos, but it's above the you know, chipotle and chalupa. This is a good burrito to get if you're looking for like a vegetarian burrito with like that Taco Bell, but I wouldn't go here just to get it, so I would just give it a two. Like if someone gave it to me, I'd eat it, but that would be it. I wouldn't go off my way to get it. Indeed. Three for me, but low end of three. Well, anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Taco Bell's brand new items. They recently just came out this past week, so if you haven't checked them out already, please go to your nearest Taco Bell and give them a shot and leave your thoughts in the comments section below of how you like the item. 
And we might be doing another Taco Bell video pretty soon too because in the early part of January they're going to be coming up with these brand new chicken wings for only one week. So uh, we will be back with you with Taco Bell probably around that time so stay tuned. Also if you haven't done so already be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications and we will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm. This is Crystal and Charles signing off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.